A year after the first 13-minute trailer of Black Myth Wukong was revealed, developer Game Science has dropped a second 12-minute trailer and with it comes a chunk of new info. Here's all the new stuff we learned about the 16th century Chinese action RPG. Earlier this year, Game Science switched development of Black Myth Wukong from Unreal Engine 4 to the brand new Unreal Engine 5, with technical support from Epic Games. This is the first time we have seen a gameplay trailer built on UE5 and running at 4K 60fps. Black Myth Wukong also supports NVIDIA's ray tracing and DLSS, as well as Dolby Atmos. This second trailer smashes our early assumptions that Black Myth Wukong's monkey protagonist was Sun Wukong, one of the main characters of the classic Chinese tale Journey to the West. Through the opening prologue, it becomes clear that its story is not simply a straight recreation of the novel. We are currently guessing that the main character is a monkey who wants to follow Wukong's footsteps to the West to hone his skills or finish what Wukong didn't. The beginning of the trailer showed the protagonist attacking an enemy from behind, pushing him off a cliff. It seems like you can take the stealthy route in Black Myth Wukong. The trailer kicks off with a snow-covered scene, and it seems the snow in Black Myth Wukong subtly changes according to your movements. When the first enemy starts waving his mace, we can see the snow under his feet parting with his footsteps. When the monkey is walking, you can see the footprints in the snow, but when he starts running, he leaves a trail in the snow. When the protagonist is fighting with Katana Monkey in the trailer, we are shown a new ability. After he gets hit by the enemy, he can leave a split shadow in place so he can escape the attack without any harm. Executing this skill, which appears to require precise timing, builds up points in your special moves meter. This battle with Katana Monkey reveals several skills that the boss enemy can execute, like this uh, taunt. If you injure him a certain amount, he will kneel down and pretend to beg for forgiveness. But if you let your guard down, he'll get up and attack you with his katana. His most impressive move is this three-strike combo ending with a crescent gleam. This three-strike combo even has a variation where he uses his feet to hold the knife. Another new skill, Black Myth Wukong's protagonist can draw a fire ring on the ground, which seems to be able to fend off all attacks from the enemy and let the player become invincible temporarily. This skill is drawn directly from Journey to the West. In the novel, when Sung Wukong needs to leave the monk Tang Sang Zhang to get food, he'll use his magical staff, Ryu Jingu Bang, to draw a ring around Tang Sang Zhang in order to protect him from other monsters. When we see the firing ability release, the monkey takes a sip from the gourd in the back. A sip of about one-fifth of the gourd helps recover half of the HP. So far, we don't know how to refill this gourd, but it sure looks handy. In the trailer, the main character monkey meets a caretaker of Subheaven, which can transform into a bird. He is different from the human form caretaker that we saw in the first trailer, but according to the original Journey to the West, every town has their own caretaker, so it's not unusual for them to have different forms. The caretaker of Subheaven features in a very important chapter in the original Journey to the West book. Sun Wukong and his companions met the yellow eyebrow demon who pretended to be a Buddha, which turned out to be a big problem. More on that later. The second battle in the game is with a breathtaking white dragon. Here we see the monkey using two different kinds of super skills. The super skill icon is located in the lower right corner of the screen. The first super skill we see here was also shown in the first trailer. Monkey quickly twirls his Ryu Jingu Bang like a propeller. In the first trailer, this super skill is used for deflecting arrows, and this time is used to attack the Lay-In White Dragon. His second super skill is to extend the Ryu Jingu Bang to attack and cause the enemy critical harm. This move is very powerful, but it seems to need a little more time to get ready, so you need to time it right. If not, you might miss the target. We saw this move a couple of times in the fight with the Katana Monkey and the White Dragon. You need super skill points, up to three to release them, and they will cause different levels of damage depending on how many points you've accumulated. Even without points, you can still use super skills, but they will be much less powerful. In the fight with the White Dragon, when it releases its thunder and strikes the player monkey, it shows the lightning effects wrapping around the health bar. At this point, we can't tell if this will negatively impact him beyond zapping him for a few seconds, but still, you better watch out. On the lower left corner of the UI, we can see a blue skill point meter and yellow strength point meter. When you use split shadow or firing, you'll consume the skill points. Fighting, dodging, and using special moves will consume strength points. So far, we don't see how to recover skill points from this trailer, but strength points automatically refill after each use. During the fight with the White Dragon, it releases a thunder attack that covers a lot of ground. Instead of dodging each spark, the monkey uses the Monkey Climbing a Tree skill set, which sees him climbing his Ryu Jingu Bang to avoid the attack. 
The last half of the trailer showed off a dozen different bosses and enemies. We saw some of them last when we interviewed Game Science and tried the demo last year, but most of the enemies here are brand new. A lot of these enemies have been heavily inspired by Journey to the West. For example, the Black Bear Monster is the big boss in the Black Wind Mountain chapter of the novel. There is also a boss holding a big machete who might be the green hair lion demon that Manjushri's ride in the novel. The original novel Journey to the West is a fantasy that touches on both Taoism and Buddhism. In Black Myth Wukong, the voiceover in the last part of the trailer comes from the Eight Precepts of Buddhism. In the very beginning of the trailer, the statue that the monkey bursts out of is Kang Jing Long, from 28 Mansions of Taoism. At the end of this trailer, you can see someone who looks like Buddha asking the monkey, Kneel, he who seeketh enlightenment. This character could be the yellow eyebrow demon who pretends to be Buddha. According to the novel, the yellow eyebrow demon used to be a child who served Buddha. This could potentially be drawn from the chapter in Journey to the West where the yellow eyebrow demon creates a minor.